Os, Ura, Echo, Beatus. Today, me and my friends are going to the awesome convention with, what do you say, printer? Oh, all right, my sketch. I just forgot. It's my first video, and oh my god, I need my glasses too. Wait a minute. Finally, I got prepared. Today, me and my friends are going to the awesome convention named Comic Con Baltics. It is a massive pop culture event which is happening in our country. I will talk about it later when we will be driving. We are having bus trip to our capital Vilnius. And yes, surely this event is not happening in our town. And we will have to travel almost half of our country. Oh, I mean just 100 kilometers to get here. And yes, our country is not that big, but what I really do believe is that the size of hat is what matters the most. So, it is still early morning, I am meeting my friends in about an hour or so. So, I am going to finish all my morning routine, get dressed, do morning exercises, some eye exercises because I don't want these glasses anymore, and I am going to have some healthy breakfast because today is cheat day and I want to start my cheat day healthy because I want to feel good all day. And a lot of fitness people says that advice that you should start the cheat day healthy, so it's legitimate. Anyways, I will be back in a few seconds. All right. I'm finally ready to go to the bus station. My father is taking me here, so I have to be in the car in five minutes. Right after I finish recording this, I finished all my morning routine. I got dressed in this nice Dragon Ball Goku hoodie. So I think I'm now fully prepared to go to the con. And oh my god, I'm so hyped for today! Alright guys, I can't hold it anymore. I will tell you a secret, but don't you dare tell anyone. First of all, I am meeting three of my friends in a bus station. Their names are Matas, Pius and Ugnus. So, according to the official plan, Pius and Ugnus is coming together to the bus station and they are, will wait for me. I will show up and... Uh, we will travel to our capital Vilnius and so on. They think that other our friend Matas is busy, like uh, traveled something, so he can go. But I know the truth. I know the truth. And and now it is going to the most interesting part. Right before the bus arrives, Matas is going to show up from nowhere. He's really sneaky peeky friend, so he likes to do stuff and uh, I can't wait to see other friends faces when they will uh, see that uh, our entire Nakama had gathered it's gonna be so much fun so much fun so guys we are gonna meet at a bus station and stay tuned so I arrived to a bus station and met Matas sorry somehow I recorded this with no sound now I am going to find the other friends and Matas is going to hide not far away from us all right I met my other friends, and uh, now we will go to buy tickets yeah. and uh, hello, hello. say hello. <laughs> this is Pius, this is Ugnus, and uh, like I said, I have a surprise for them. I bought something for them, so please close your close your eyes. Okay. Close your eyes. Turn back. Turn back. Meanwhile. <laughs> Here we go, okay, we have Mata. <laughs> and he is really sneaky <laughs> and he is going too, so I am staying to hide with him again. <laughs> so alright, we met, now we are in this spinning door thing and we are going right to the bus. We are all here, finally. Matas, say hi. Hello! By that time we were in the bus, we played some card games and had some nice conversations. Actually, Comic Con Baltics is the biggest pop culture event in Baltic states, Lithuania, Estonia and Latvia. This event takes place in Lithuania every single year since 2017. So yes, it is just third time this con is happening. Alright. 
We arrived in our capital, Vilnius. We are going now to the bus, mini bus station, and we will wait to the bus who will take us to the event, to the Comic Con place. And uh, later on, I will show you more Vilnius because now we are near the station and it is not the most beautiful place in Vilnius. It looks pretty uh, old and so on, but uh, our country is really green. You can see a lot of trees, so on. That's why we like it. And uh, it is surely raining now, and we wait for uh, a bus, like I said, to our uh, convention. So. Meanwhile. Let's wait and uh, I hope it will stop raining because uh, we are cold now. Alright, right now we are going to the, to the building where the event is happening. You can see it right here. And here you can see uh, Vilnius TV tower. It is hiding behind the clouds but it is pretty high. But now the, there is a lot of clouds. Surprisingly, at the moment, I didn't have any idea what my friends were trying to tell me. Transformers! <laughs> and finally... Oh! You see? There is a bumblebee! We came way too early, so the entrance was still closed, but from the bright side, we were standing in the front lines. Alright, we came uh, to the uh, con, and uh, now we will go inside. Here you can see a bumblebee, pretty big. We had few hours to look around the place because we came here at half past 9 am and official opening was at 11 am. They are selling the cyborgs and weapons, oh my god. Here we have Tetris gamers. How is going your game? It's really hard. I don't know how to play. I'm playing for the first time this game, and uh, I don't even know how to use this thing because I always play on a computer. You're playing Spider-Man, yeah? I thought I am a gamer, but I don't know how to use it, so it's a shame to call me a gamer. <laughs> Dude, you're playing on PC, and this is a PS4. No shit. Yeah, and there is. Any shit going on here? This rocket leave one is four. I scored one goal. This Sugnus. I lost freaking three times in a row. Oh, Don't play this game. Let's go with it. We came outside to have this. Opening ceremony is starting after a few minutes. Oh my god, we can't wait to see all the guests. Hello, superheroes! Hey, superheroes! Welcome to the third annual Comic Con Baltics! It is the only and therefore the largest Comic Con in the Baltic states. First guest was the mask guy, Landon Mayer. Actually, I never knew who he is before, but awesome. He can make such realistic masks. He even came with one of his masks on stage and I was scripted out how he can talk without moving his lips. It was his mask, actually. Comics creator and illustrator Rob Demblaker came too. He admitted that he loves the paint program. 
people and uh, the most popular question was when are you ever gonna learn to use other paint programs other than Microsoft Paint? <laughs> uh, when someone pays me to do it? I don't know, I, I, paint works so I'm gonna stick with it. Here you can see Vikings TV series actress Georgia Hurst. Hi, nice to meet you. Welcome to Lithuania. So the question would be, uh, would you yourself be able to survive in the Viking world? And if not, which character's uh, traits would you uh, like to have to survive? Um, would I survive? No. Uh, I wouldn't. Um, I would like to be like Torby. She's badass, she's strong. Um, unfortunately, I'm a bit of a wuss, and when I'm on set, like doing those killing scenes, I'll look badass for a second, and I'm like, Aah! oh my god, I've got my wet! <laughs> um, so I'm a little bit pathetic, but Torby, obviously, and Magatha, who doesn't want to be like Magatha? Everyone. Actor David Faustino was invited to. Fun fact that in Lithuania, Married with Children TV series is still airing today. David was surprised himself. And finally, Steven Ogg, actor of Walking Dead and the voice actor of GTA 5 character Trevor. Later he will be doing some panels and maybe we will try to get even autograph. Uh, nice to meet you too. So, uh, welcome to Lithuania, first of all. You have this nice Ron Burgundy depression beard going on. <laughs> the, uh, no, no. It's, do you know Ron Burg? Oh, okay, so that's it for the comic book Welcome, thank you for coming. <laughs> right, how many, uh, is it often that you get, because uh, the YouTube is full of uh, these uh, videos, how often do you get people who come up to you and ask uh, to, so to speak, tell them off? Yeah, the cursing thing. It's interesting. Um, you know, all the time. It's, it's a bizarre thing to people kind of get off on me being rude and cursing to them, so a lot, it's weird, so don't ask. Now we know, do not come up and ask me to tell you to fuck off. I'll tell you all to fuck off right now, and it's done for the weekend. Opening and guests welcoming ceremonies ended. Then we were going to try Walking Dead room. We are going to the Walking Dead room, so it's gonna be scary. It's gonna be scary. I will try to make some footage, we will see. What is this guy? What? What's this? We said hi to the Walking Dead. We came back from that spooky chamber from Walking Dead and it was pretty interesting. One zombie took my hand and my leg, it was funny, and uh, Matos uh, took the zombie's hand and pulled it to him, so, so the zombie was scared of Matos, it was pretty fun. We came down to see all the shopping places. Here we go, we came outside and it's finally not raining and you saw uh, the was opening in the 12 a.m. and now we came outside, we were at a spooky room walking dead, we had fun, we played some old games and some new games with consoles and uh, now we are going to the other building to see what's good in this building. Later we might even get to make a photo with Steven Ogg. You saw it on the footage. See, Ugnes is talking with her phone. I think with parents. 
and Matas and Pius is buying uh, maybe coffee, maybe tea. Pathetic. I have like chocolate drink. We will see if it is good or not. I think it will be like five of, out of ten, but we will see. Okay, now we are having this mini picnic, and uh, after this picnic, after this mini eating session, we will go to the cosplay to see the cosplay. Here you can see Steven Og panel, he was talking about movie making and stuff, people could ask questions to him, but I don't understand people who ask really trash questions like to say fuck you in Trevor way. Anyway, Steven Og has really charismatic personality, I liked him, and uh, I, I may even check Walking Dead series someday because I have never seen it and uh, I may try. Finally, the most interesting part, the cosplay part is starting. The judges from various world places had gathered, and let's see the cosplays. I just saw. Watch carefully this one. It's definitely not Izuku Doria. It's shame for the anime. Shame. But costume is pretty good. Oh my god, Izuku Midoriya don't use weapons. Let's pretend it never happened and let's see better cosplays. Watching some cosplays and yes. uh, part very one. Good cosplays. Yes, you saw it, but uh, I I am very su surprised for uh, Vision cosplay because uh, uh, he made a lot of uh, stunts and uh, everything, calisthenics, and I didn't like. Uh, Midoriya my, musical. Yes, my hero academia cosplay was, cosplay was terrible because he was the freaking knife, and uh, Midoriya never uses a knife. Plus. Uh, it was not for my hero. It, it was not legit. Uh, we didn't like it. And uh, now we are waiting for a part two. And we are going to ask uh, Steven Ox uh, for an autograph. As you can see, cosplay part 2 had started. We didn't get Steven Ogg or another two famous actors autographs because to go to the place you should pay extra 20 euros and we don't think it is worth it, so we will be okay without autographs and let's see other cosplays. Here we go, one of the best portal cosplays. <laughs> Basically she's just sitting in the cube, but somehow I liked it. There are there tons of beautiful cosplays, but I just hated this one because they made a shame to One Piece. Just watch, later we will discuss it with Matas. Good morning, gamer! Get in the brick hole. Send in the potatoes. Let the freaking begin! Bad, bad! Oh, stay! Yogi! We're gonna beat the Ender Dragon. Okay. Sometimes I watch PewDiePie, I like Minecraft, and I like One Piece, but why mix these three together, I don't know. This one is just wow. Wow.
Okay, uh, cosplay part two ended, and now we are out of the building. We came to the Vilnius center, to the old town, and now we are going, you know where? We are going to we eat some ramen, because we are... We I am filming a freaking video! I, you don't care, bitch! I am enough angry of freaking One Piece cosplay. You know guys, I just hated One Piece cosplay because... Only Naruto cosplay was good. Yes, Other Naruto was good. Cosplay was pretty big shit. Yes, and next time we are going to do a cosplay because we couldn't handle freaking One Piece with bad costumes and we are, we are playing soundtrack on PewDiePie playing Minecraft. So if you do Minecraft soundtrack, please uh, cosplay Minecraft and not uh, One Piece because it is a shame Kree, for bro. it is a shame Kree, for me for the fun of One Piece to see the mix of the Minecraft and One Piece and uh, bad costumes. So that was not really good, but everything other things was really good. We liked it. And now when we will be in the restaurant of the ramen. Uh, on the Japanese ramen, we will show you what geeky stuff we, uh, stuff we bought in in the Comic Con, and uh, I am going to do a big bowl of ramen challenge, and uh, it is free. But if I don't eat everything, I lose 20 euros. So, but I know I will do it, and I am not going to lose 20 euros. Do you think I am going to eat all the ramen for free? No. But Definitely it's a very very big pot of ramen, but I am I have a Goku suit. I can eat it <laughs> All right, I said I will show you what we bought so we bought to try some uh, Instant noodles. Uh, it's super spicy. So we will try it at home. Uh, I Got for two euros this mouse pad. Uh, I won this in the lottery I bought uh, this Naruto glasses tissue and I won One Piece uh, banner. So I think it's pretty good. Uh, I got some stuff and this is Mata's stuff. He won this and this uh, in the same lottery and uh, he bought the uh, exact same ramen. He, got, he won in the lottery uh, this Naruto banner and, uh, and Piz bought these noodles. And now we are at the ramen restaurant. We will eat. Okay. I am going to eat ramen. Uh, the challenge is was uh, not success because this restaurant don't serve the challenge. So I got uh, regular ramen. And my friends didn't want a ramen. They said they are full. But when we saw this beautiful plate, we went to buy it too. So it's really good. But I took. There is uh, five uh, levels of uh, spiciness and I took uh, normal level 2 and it is al already really spicy so I don't know how, to, how I would be able to handle level 5. I mean look at this stuff, looks cool right? Now we are having really nice Japanese style dinner, ramen is really good. Alright, uh, we ended up eating. It was very good ramen. You, I think you saw a time lapse. Matas took uh, level five spiciness of ramen. It's the biggest deal. And, and that was not spice at all. It was like a. He's lying, simple guys. Simple soup. He's lying. It was spicy. It was little bit spicy, but it's not too spicy. The Mexican chili pepper was more spicier than this. I think it's true. But uh, overall, this ramen was the best I ate in the Lithuania because in Lithuania we don't have a lot of ramen. In, uh, in, in Kaunas, in our city, we have just two ramen places. One is terrible and one is and don't normal. Don't to look my channel. Vitis Pit is gonna leave. His channel is uh, Lithuanian. So if you are Lithuanian, you will un understand him. And you not if you are not Lithuanian, you gonna understand too because there is many time lapse. Um, yeah, and you're gonna see footage that Vitis 
Peter's done half that fishing. Okay. Uh, and we made a lot of photos with, with uh, cosplayers, it was really fun. Uh, we saw a couple YouTubers. Yes, we saw a couple YouTubers from but Lithuania. Lithuania. Yes. Not in not Poland, not Estonia. Now Australia. we are almost came to the bus station. It is right here. And we will uh, go back home to the bus. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it was the best ramen I ate in Lithuania, but uh, one day when we will come to Japan, I think it will be a hundred times better. But here, it's okay. So, see you soon. And I'm pretty sad that I couldn't do the uh, ramen challenge. I really wanted, I really wanted to get... Shut up! I really wanted to try a very big pot of ramen for free uh, and I was sure I will eat it but this place didn't serve it because it is like mini ramen place and in the other Vilnius place there is a full restaurant of ramen so maybe one day we will come here too we didn't do challenge but fortunate, fortunately we got to eat good ramen but for our money. Actually, when we were driving home by a bus through a window, we saw fireworks, because only when first day of convention officially ended. Unfortunately, we were not able to stay here at night. Next year, we will cosplay and stay here for all two days. All right, we are back in Konas, and yeah, yeah. now we're going... The bus was almost full, but uh, we barely uh, could fit in the uh, bus, but uh, we yeah. fit all, so we came back happily. Yeah. Yes. And now the vlog is came to the end. We yeah. all go to our separate ways, to our homes. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And yeah. see you in the next videos. Yeah, bye. 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 bye.